Hi guys, welcome po sa Ugochip na yan. This is Sir JV Remat Kahugot and welcome po sa ating channel. So para po sa topic natin for today, we're going to deal with the week 4 of MELC first quarter solving problem involving rational algebra expression. So gagamitin natin guys ang rational algebra expression in solving different types of problems. So meron tayong dalawang type ng problem na very common in terms of rational algebra expression. Tara guys! Tingnan po natin ang mga problem na to. So para po sa objective natin for today, so at the end of this video lesson, we're going to solve problem related to rational algebra expression. So yun po yung ating objective natin. So first problem natin guys about the fraction related problem. Basahin po natin ang problem natin. If the denominator of a fraction is far more than the numerator, and if both the numerator and denominator of the fraction, of the original fraction, are increased by 1, the resulting fraction will be 1 half. Find the fraction. So, basically, very fraction problem talaga siya. So, Try natin guys, alamin yung mga importanteng detalye dito. First, syempre guys, yung ating denominator na galing sa ating numerator. Which is 4 more than the numerator. So, kung hindi ko natatandaan guys, ano nga ang numerator? Ang numerator po, yung mga uh, number na nagsasabi, yung mga binawas natin, uh, kinain natin, or bahagi po siya ng fraction. So, talang ang denominator, guys, ay yung kabuuan. Tama po kayo dyan. Yung kabuuan mismo ng ating uh, uh, isang bagay. For example, pizza, six slices. Yung six po yung denominator. Yung kinain mo, guys, yung numerator. Now, ang sabi na dito, guys, yung numerator and denominator ay nag-increase ng 1. From the original fraction, guys, natin, nag-increase pa siya ng 1. At nag-increase siya, guys, naging siyang 1 half. So, we're looking for the fraction itself. So, since we're looking for the fraction, siyempre, we will start, guys, with our representation. So, napansin natin, ito na yung mga importante talye, eh. kaya representation na tayo. Sa ating representation, guys, considering yung ating mga binigay na information, siyempre, we let our x be our numerator and x plus 4 as denominator. Since, sabi daw dito, ang denominator daw ay 4 more than the numerator. Okay, meron tayong x at x plus 4. After representation, syempre, equation. So, so may equation po tayo. From our problem itself, we have an x over x plus 4. May numerator tayong x at x plus 4 na, na denominator. E ang sabi sa part, part na to, if the both numerator and denominator is increased by 1, so, magdadagdag tayo ng plus 1 sa numerator at sa denominator. Tapos guys, the resulting fraction is 1 half. Kaya siya naging equal sa 1 over 2. So, meron tayong main equation which is x plus 1 all over x plus 4 plus 1 equals to 1 half. Which is our equation. O ba? Pwede na tayo syempre mag-proceed sa ating solution. So, paano kaya isosolve to? So, syempre, simplify muna natin. Pag sinimplify natin, guys, may isang x plus 1 all over x plus 5 equals 1 half. Since yung 4 plus 1 ay 5. Hmm. Ano kaya ang pinada best way para isolve to? Kung, guys, naalala ninyo, kung, guys, naalala ninyo yung concept ng proportion during your grade 7 at elementary, kapag ganyan ang given, guys, pwede kang mag-cross multiply. Since, Yung inner term at extreme terms guys ito ay pwede mong makuha since they are equal. So, ang ginawa ko dyan guys, na cross multiply ako. Cross multiplication by which they are equivalent. So, yung x plus 1 i-multiply ko sa 2. Yung x plus 5 i-multiply ko sa 1. So, yun po yung ginawa ko dito para masabi ko na equal siya. Di ba tandaan nyo, pag fraction... Kailangan guys, yung 
product ng cross multiplication nila ay laging equal. Kaya pwede ka mag-multiply. Ito yung para sa di ba? So, solving that guys, so, 2 times x plus 1 may isang 2x plus 2 is equal to x plus 5. O, ngayon, pansin ninyo, kailangan ilipat si x sa kabilang side, si positive 2 sa kabilang side. So, pag ginawa po natin yon si positive x ay magiging negative x, si positive 2 ay magiging negative 5. So, we have 2x minus x equals to 5 minus 2. So, simplifying, 2x minus x is x, 5 minus 2 ay 3. So, meron na tayong sagot na x equals to 3. Ang tanong, tapos na ba ang problem natin? Hindi pa po. Since kasi guys, yung x na yun, siya lamang yung ating numerator. And we're looking for the fraction itself, guys. So, let's substitute. We have x, which is 3. Kaya po yung x na to, naging 3 siya. Yung x na to, naging 3. So, 3 plus 4, which is the definition, guys, na nakuha nating term kanina. So, may isang 3 all over 7. So, guys, ang original fraction natin ay 3 over 7. Kung napapansin ninyo, magdadagdag ako ng 3 sa 1. May isang 4. Ang 7 plus 1 ay 8. 4 over 8, ang lowest term niya ay 1 half. Kaya po, tama ang ating sagot. So, therefore, guys, ang ating occlusion, the original fraction of our problem is 3 all over 7. At iyon po ang ating fraction problem. Diba madali lang? Guys, para sa ating next problem, we're going to have the word problem. So, let us read our problem. So, Waldo can fix a certain machine in 3 hours, but it takes Baldo, his brother, 4 hours to do the same job. How long would it take them to fix the machine if they're going to work together? So, pransin nyo, it's a work problem. And it's measured by hours. So, let us have our important details. Siyempre guys, yung, if they're talking about their work, syempre yung paggawa ng isang machine, si Waldo ay kaya niya ng 3 hours. Si Baldo naman 4 hours. Pa, paano guys ang gagawin o gaano katagal sila matatapos kung sila ay tut magtutulungan para sa paggagawa ng machine na yun? At their constant speed, syempre. Let us consider first, guys, yung ating representation in question. Guys, po, sasamahin na natin to. So, syempre, guys, yung x, yung number of hours, it takes them, so they're working together, to do the work together. So, yung x time na yun. So, syempre, we're going to have our rate times time goes to work. Yung rate, guys, yung gano'ng kabilis, tapos yung time na uh, ginagawa mo yung isang object. For example, ang rate mo ay kaya mo magsagot ng isang puzzle for 3 hours. E kung nag-solve ka ng 6 hours, ibig sabihin guys, ang kaya mong isolve ay dalawang puzzle. Kung ikaw ay 3 hours, ang bilis mo sa isang puzzle. So yun ay rate times time equals to work. Now, ito guys yung ano, uh, table na nagpapakita kung gaano kabilis sila. So, si Waldo ay 4 hours. Ibig sabihin, ang kayang tapusin sa work is 1 over 4. Since 4 hours yung kabuuan ng kayang matapos. Si Baldo naman ay 1 over 3. Since 1 third ang kayang tapos sa loob ng isang oras. Pag sila ay nagtulungan, guys, sa loob ng isang oras, ilang bahagi ang kaya nilang magawa. So, guys, from that part, guys, doon mo yung equation, which is 1 over 4 plus 1 over 3 equals to 1 over x. Ibig sabihin, guys, yung kayang gawin ni Waldo sa loob ng isang oras, kayang gawin ni Baldo sa loob ng isang oras, ay equal dun sa kaya nilang gawin ng magkasama sa loob ng isang oras. At dun, guys, ating malalaman kung ano ba yung oras o yung eksaktong ilang oras nila kaya tapusin yung kanilang machine. Let us try to solve this one. So, tanda nyo guys, sa so one-fourth kay Waldo, one-fourth kay Baldo. Pag pinagsama natin, doon natin malalaman kung gano'n sila kabilis. So, for our LCD, we have this problem. So, we're looking for the 12x. So, guys, kung 12x siya, 
So we multiply the 12x on the whole equation, it will become 1 over 4 times 12x plus 1 over 3 times times 12x equals to 1 over x times 12x. So since ang LCD natin na 12x, so it will turn out to be a 12x over 4 plus 12x over 3 equals to 12x over x. So pag sinimplify natin, 12 divided by 4 ay 3 times x 3x. 12 divided by 3 times x ay 4x. So 12 divided by 12x divided by x is 12. Kaya po naging tayong 3x plus 4x equals to 12. Pasin nyo, cancel, cancel, 3. Cancel, cancel, 4. Cancel, so x divided by x, 1. Kaya naging 12. We have a 3x plus 4x equals to 12. So simplifying them guys, it will turn out to be an 7x equals to 12 or a 12 over 7 r's or 1 r and 5 over 7 r's. O diba? Napakadali. So ito guys ay natatapos nilang ang kanilang gawain sa loob na 12 over 7 r's. So ibig sabihin guys, ilang bahagi ang kanilang tapusin sa loob ng isang oras? Doon bumapasok guys yung 7 over 12. So, 7 over 12 ang kanilang tapusin. Kapag kinomo reciprocal niya, 7 over 12 guys ang kanilang tapusin sa loob ng isang oras. So, syempre guys, so guys, para sa ating conclusion, so we'll take them 12 over 7 hours or 1 and 5 over 7 hours to fix the machine together. So, yun po yung ating conclusion for today. So, napa-importante po niyan. So, guys, I hope you learned something from our discussion for today. Don't forget to follow me in Facebook, so Jivera, so hugot sip na yan, so meron na akong isang pangalan doon, hugot sip na yan, and our Behind Real Life TV, and also my Instagram, guys, and also this page, guys, so napaka-importante po saan ito, and I hope, guys, may natutunan kayo sa ating discussion for today about this problem-solving involving system, oh, problem-solving involving rational algebra expression. Maraming salamat po, ingat po, and God bless.